I have absolutely no idea why I decided to fill my bagger with 15 kilograms of camera gear and walk all the way at the top of the hike to film the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be going through what is in this extremely heavy camera bag. And yes, for some reason, I hiked to the top of the hill, to the top of the mountain, which I thought was gonna have extremely good views, but it actually doesn't have good views at all, but at least I made the effort. So, literally anything that I own of any value is in this bag. Um, I don't own a house, I don't own a car, but I do have some nice camera equipment, a good laptop, a good drone, and everything that I need to make content for myself and for other people like Mike, Rob, brand and you know you get it you get it okay so before we have a look at what's inside my camera bag i'd like to say thank you to the sponsor of this video skillshare skillshare literally it's a dream come true for me to be working with them because throughout the whole of lockdown i actually think i pretty much ticked off all of their online classes and the good thing about skillshare is there's no ads in the video so you're not going to get distracted in between videos one of the best classes that I actually watched was one by Jessica Kobiasi. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I've always watched her on YouTube. She's a portrait photographer and she's very, very good at editing the photos and touching the photos up. So she has an online class here on Skillshare. So yeah, after watching Jessica's tutorials, I actually tried it myself on a picture with Francis. Um, we took a portrait picture in the bedroom. I was actually really, really happy with it. And then you use all these Photoshop techniques, low frequency, high frequency to separate the image and remove any blemishes and kind of smooth the skin out so I learned all of that through Jessica's online course on Skillshare another good thing about Skillshare is they offer online live classes so you can watch your favorite creators teach you in real time you can ask them questions there's a whole community you can comment read other people's comments and learn a lot especially to do with photography and videography and I spent a lot of time on Skillshare throughout lockdown so also another thing Skillshare isn't just for photography and videography. There's all sorts of online classes on there. There's graphic design, there's productivity, there's creative writing, animation, art, music, marketing, web development, you name it, the list goes on. And the good news is the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description, it's gonna be the first link, will get a month free of Skillshare. So definitely go check it out. That's how I first found Skillshare was by clicking on someone else's sponsored video. And I spent a month on Skillshare and then actually renewed the membership. So definitely worth your time, go and check it out. Oh, okay, so who knows why I decided to go for my camera bag in a field when I could have just used a table like every other YouTuber, but I don't want to be like every other YouTuber, so we're doing it in a field when it's about to pour down. First things first, we need to get that camera swapped because I wanted to show you what camera is in my bag, so come here, friend. Okay, so first things first is the camera body. This is the Canon R5. Previously, the one that Francis is filming on right now, I was using the Canon 1DX Mark II, but the Canon R5 has been a massive, massive upgrade for me. This is literally the best thing that I've ever spent my money on. I absolutely love it in every single way. So let's swap it right now with that camera. Okay, so me and Francis just filmed the whole video pretty much in slow motion. I only realized when I was checking one of the clips and then the farmer came and kicked us out of his field. So now we're in a new location. I previously told you that I was filming on my old camera. We're now filming on the new camera, the Canon R5, my favorite camera today. Let's have a look. First of all, we have inside this bag, we have a camera insert from Amazon. We have the drone and then we have another little tiny organizer insert as well. The bag is a douche bag. 30 liters, I believe. I have five of these bags, by the way, all in different colors. I love this bag, it's very well made. I'm not getting paid to say that. I don't get them for free. It's just a really good bag. Inside the insert, of course, we have the old camera that I was filming on, the Canon 1DX Mark II. That's sitting inside there now. We have my all-time favorite lens, the Tamron 24-70. Let's take this off, because I never really have that on. The Tamron 24-70. This is literally my go-to lens. If I could tell anyone to buy one lens and only one lens, it would be a 24-70. Literally, I've used that on my camera for the last three years, on the old camera, on the new camera, and it's my go-to. So, love that lens, and pretty cheap. Next, we have the Nifty 50, as it's known. It's a Canon 50 millimeter, 1.4. Gives you a nice depth of the field. Um, it's a really nice focal length, 50 millimeter. Good for portraits and I really like that lens, also very cheap. Next, 
we have my newest lens, which is the Sigma 35mm 1.4. Very good for fashion photography. It's wide enough that you can get the whole body in, and then it's got an aperture of 1.4, which gives a nice blurry background depth of field. Really like that. Then we have this, which is my absolute little baby. Every photographer's dream lens. The Canon 85mm 1.4 RF. This only works on my new camera, not on the old camera, because it's an RF mount, and this is literally the best piece of camera equipment that I own, other than my Canon R5. It's literally insane. The photos that come out of that are just unbelievable. Then, we have all sorts of bits and pieces. We have a ND16 ND filter. In here, we have, let's have a look, polarizing lens that's used when I'm taking pictures of cars and through windows and stuff that kind of cuts out the reflections and then as well as that we have this which is my penis pump now it's not really this is literally used for cleaning the lenses so say it's sandy or dusty just give it a spritz and then you can wipe the lens if you wipe the lens when it's covered in sand or dust you're gonna scratch it so I like to take care of all my equipment so it's very important that I pump the dust off first and then what else do I have in here we have my little brush. Brush the lens if you wanna brush the lens before wiping it. And then in this part, we have cleaning wipes and we also have two spare batteries for the Canon R5. So that's what's inside my little insert bag. But I'm forgetting about one thing, the lens which Francis is filming on. I'll swap this with this right now so you can see. So come here, friend, do a swap. So this is the lens that Francis was filming on. Canon 16 to 35, 2.8 Mark III. Um, again, with the 24 to 70, you do need this lens because this is the lens that you use for vlogging. It's nice and wide. You can show the background. You can give people a bit of perspective of where you are. And also if you've got the gang in, Mike, Rob, whoever, they can all be in the video as well. And you can kind of show that you're, you're a group and you're together. So you do need a wide angle. And also when I was shooting property photography, Back in the early days, this was the lens that I used to use. Okay, so that covers what's inside the camera insert. You might be wondering where I got that camera insert from. It's literally from Amazon. I'll link it down below, just like I'll link all of the products down below. There's one more thing that I'm forgetting. The microphone that I use is the Rode VideoMic Pro. I recently just bought this like literally last week because I've been using Joel's, I've been using mics, and now I decided it's time to get my own. Literally, it is quite expensive, but it's my, my favorite mic we have no problems with it it starts it turns on automatically with the camera you don't have to turn it on yourself lots of people have problems when they're vlogging because they have a mic that doesn't turn on automatically and they forget to turn it on they record a whole vlog and their microphone's off we don't have any problems now that we use that microphone so definitely recommend it and of course all things will be linked down below mainly amazon links so that's where i buy most of my equipment I do buy a couple of lenses, sometimes open box it's called off eBay. That means that someone's bought the lens and then returned it because they weren't happy with it. So that's a good way of buying cheaper equipment. Don't forget about that. Next up we have in here is the DJI Mavic Air 2. Bought this in, I think Seattle, before we went to Hawaii. And it's really nice and small. It's literally the perfect drone. Down the sides of the bag here, I normally keep my chargers, so we have my MacBook charger on that side. I would normally have my iPhone charger in there. And then on this side, I just have my camera charger. So let's have a look in here. Okay, next up we have this little organizer. I recently got this because I was kind of sick of my cables being all over the place. And like, if I want to go and use my laptop somewhere, I just seem to have cables all over. I just don't like being unorganized. So this is a game changer. I have my hard drives in there. This is hard drive number nine. Yes, the only problem with that camera that I'm using is the file sizes are massive. So I go through a lot of hard drives. I normally get the two terabyte laces. It means that if I lose one or break one, I don't lose all of my footage. And then I have my adapters for my laptop. Um, I have my memory card readers. I have the memory card reader for the R5. I have the spare memory card. I have, why did I say that's so funny? I have more wipes. As you know, I like to keep my stuff clean. Second last thing is in here. Normally I'd keep my passport, wallet and stuff like that in here. And then we have these headphones which I use when I'm editing. These are the Sony WH-1000X M3s. Completely noise cancelling. You can have them on in the plane, literally can't hear anything. And yeah, I got Francis a pair of these as well because I love them so much. She loves them, don't you Fran? Yeah. And when I'm editing, <laughs> 
Whenever I'm editing using a Bluetooth headphone, I always connect it with the wire because sometimes there's a little bit of lag and you don't want that. The final thing that we have is this, which also, did you see that? Just slipped out the bag nice and easily, as you can see. This is my little baby. To be fair, I think this might be a better purchase than that camera because I don't know what I would have done without this laptop. I've had it now for, let me tell you about this Mac. This is a 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch. This is literally fully, fully, fully specced. It works a dream for me. It loads photos, it loads videos, it handles everything very, very well. It very, very rarely crashes. I can run multiple programs at once. It's been through the wars, a couple of dents and scratches, but yeah, my life without this laptop would be a lot harder and things would take a lot longer. So a fully specced MacBook Pro is really the perfect piece of kit for me. So I think that is literally all of my camera gear covered. I can't really think of anything else. And yeah, if you have any questions about any of my kit, please let me know down below in the comments. As I said, I'll link everything down below. There'll be Amazon, Amazon affiliate link. So I might get a little bit of commission if you end up buying something, but yeah. Thanks to Francis for putting up with me, helping me make all these videos. Really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.